Well, thank you very much, uh, Ben Troy, Joy, back there in Broadcasting House. And of course, we continue with our unrivaled coverage of the Connected Summit 2023. Joining me on the set here is the Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Investment, Trade and in Industry. He has just uh, discussed the issue of business innovation as well as uh, the nexus when it comes to digital enterprise, business and innovation. And of course, this is a subject that we want to discuss here, how we can use uh, our ICT platforms, our ICT infrastructure to advance commerce as well as business. Thank you very much, Wazir, for joining us. And of course, next Thank to him uh, is uh, the CPS uh, in the uh, State Department for ICT and the Digital Economy. I want, first of all, to start with you. What is the nexus between ICT, business, and international trade? Well, I think uh, Kenya is now positioning ICT as uh, one of our major exports. The way we export uh, coffee, tea, and flowers, uh, we have uh, the government identified the ICT as digital transformation as uh, one of the key drivers for business. So, first of all, it's a product for us. It's an exportable product. It's one of the drivers for uh, uh, our economy. It's what we are calling our gold and oil. So that's the point. The second thing is, of course, uh, the um, tech leadership that the government has taken, a very ambitious goal of the digitizing part uh, within the next six months uh, on the e government platform. And I think, by especially within the African region, that is unprecedented. I would say, even in, in other sides of the world. Uh, and, and that is um, in matters business and trade. First of all, uh, ICT is one of the sectors that has attracted the highest level of interest from, from international investors. Uh, I cannot spend a day without meeting uh, investors who are interested in investing in tech. Uh, and the second thing is that um, it is a platform that is going to help us in accelerating our trade and especially our, our export. Uh, we have got our own initiative as government, especially as a center allowed digital trade and e-commerce. The government is launching our own version of e-commerce, uh, the commodity exchange and the warehouse receipt system. We hope to do it as part of uh, Madaraka this revolution. So that, you know, we use it, the digital technology. We can be able to spar trade to create more transparency, more visibility for our product, um, you know, information sharing between regions, this region and that region. And in, as a matter of fact, uh, our our e-commerce uh, comment is going to be accessible to people uh, out there you know who want to import products from Kenya so that is going to also lead, uh, help us in terms of achieving what we call inclusive growth ensuring that even somebody from my village who does not have a passport I you know can be able to export you know you know uh, products to, to the US for example without even in having, uh, needing to travel out of the country. Mm -hmm. that, those are the wonders of, of, of technology. Mm -hmm. And one of the challenges has been uh, what we call information asymmetry or whereby you know, information is scattered in so many places. And there was a project by the government sometimes back to launch what was then dubbed as the one-stop shop for investment. And the beauty of it is, is that um, this question is coming at a time when the president is leading a delegation to Rwanda which is uh, highlighted as a model in Africa when it comes to, you know, business consolidation. Uh, how can we then uh, use ICT to deploy a one-stop shop? I, I, I think the, this is a very important question because uh, we are now uh, coming up with a system known as PASHA, which is going to be our digital one-stop shop for all investors, for exporters, for traders, for manufacturers, so that they can, we can be able to know where they are. They can be able to report back on the issues that are inhibiting uh, them in terms of business. So all these we are doing to, so that we can be able to improve our business environment. And I think that uh, people talk about uh, what uh, Rwanda is doing. But I think give us time, give us just the next six months, and we are actually going to leapfrog way ahead of uh, uh, Rwanda in terms of uh, uh, our business and environment and our one-stop center. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, well, what is the correlation between your ministry, uh, the Ministry of ICT and the digital economy and trade? Where do you, the two of you merge? 
first uh, building the digital ecosystem we have many enterprises both international and uh, Kenyan enterprises so these are enterprises of great interest to the Ministry of Industry uh, Trade and Investment so that component is an area we are looking forward to collaborate with the Ministry of uh, Trade to see how we can support the Kenyan enterprises and also even the multinationals to ensure that the agenda that we have as a government can be delivered largely by the private sector. Secondly, we are talking and CSRs talk about the digital products and that is a very interesting and potential area for our country. How can we export more services? How can we export new products? We have the creative sector, we have data, digital products that will create value to our country. This is an area we have not exploited. We have also the third area of talent, which we think we need to position as also a product and export services by our professionals across the world. The business process outsourcing centers can be located here in Kenya. IT enabled services, we can also attract investment in terms of call centers. So there is a huge uh, support and collaboration area between Ministry of ICT and Digital Economy and also the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment. Mm -hmm. And we've been talking about digitizing um, government services and the target is about 5,000 by, by, by June this year. How many government uh, services that relate to trade and commerce are going to be digitized? Do we have the numbers? We have several services. Uh, overall, as government, we have already identified over 5,000 services that need to be digitized. As of now, over 4,300 are already digitized fully or partially, and we are committed by end of June to have commit, uh, uh, digitized all the 5,000. But there is still great work to be done on the back end to build the core systems for government digitization agenda, and we'll be working with the Ministry of Trade to see that those are address and uh, enterprises we have can play a significant role. Mm -hmm. When it comes to research, uh, the, the, the Kenya Industrial Research Development Institute is domiciled within your ministry and it's, it's, it's a critical cog in developing research and of course helping in the incubation of our small enterprises. Uh, how is it being fashioned to ensure that it plays a, sig a significant role in Kenya's digitalization and digitization process, Bonawazim? Of course the first thing is that uh, innovation cannot be owned by government. Innovation belongs to people out there, especially young people. And what we are doing, our role is actually trying to support uh, young people in this journey of innovation. We have actually asked, the, and I said it in my speech today, the Kenya Industrial Property Institute to go to all our universities, all our schools, all our colleges, identifying uh, innovations and actually giving them patents and copyrights, you know, right there from, 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 the, from that level. But more important is, so what next after identifying these uh, innovations? And that's why uh, one of the state corporations within my ministry, uh, the, the Kenya Development Corporation, is setting up a tech fund a tech startup fund, a tech financing fund, a tech innovation fund to be able to support uh, businesses, both mature businesses and startups uh, in accessing uh, debt capital, in accessing uh, uh, equity capital, and even providing grants for, for the kind of development that, uh, that, that, that we are finding out there. And in doing so, by the way, we are not doing it alone. We are putting up a very big coalition of development partners who want to uh, use uh, our platform to be able to support businesses. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you see, when you look at uh, the foreign direct investment into Kenya, you know, we have always averaged uh, 60, 65 billion shillings uh, every year. Uh, how do we plan to tap uh, ICT to grow this number going forward? We are having, uh, of course, the, our Silicon uh, Savannah initiative. Uh, later this month, uh, we are going off to the U.S. to on a road show uh, or to attract investors, most of them on tech. We have got uh, quite a number of investors we are going to meet in, 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 in the U.S. and we are going to do this across many countries. Expect to see an influx of investments in tech because most of these people they want to come here one because of uh, digital talent that exists in this country, and two they want to come here because they can be able to actually uh, use Kenya as a uh, hub 
to develop products for their own markets. And, and that's a discussion I've been having with, with several countries. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Bona Pies, I mean, this event, the Connected uh, Summit, you know, has become a major platform for players within the ICT industry, not only here in Kenya, in Africa, but beyond to converge and deliver it on issues facing this industry. Um, is this a platform? Is this, is, how can we then create more platforms like these in various sectors, be it in um, investment, be it in uh, industrialization, be it in business? Uh, w what lessons can we draw from this? First, this platform on its 12th edition, the Connected Summit, has really played a big role in the ICT sector. It's a model, and we think before even thinking of uh, playing other roles in other uh, forums, we need to grow it. We need it to make it more regional. We need it to make it an African summit. And within the next five years, we should be actually talking th of this as a global event. And that's one of the other issues we are discussing with the Ministry of Industry and Trade, to see how can we grow this event to be one event annually that the whole world knows. You can go to Kenya in such an event, and this is opportunities you'll be able to access. And we are looking at uh, growing what we call the knowledge economy. And I think knowledge economy is what will transform our country. And Ministry of Trade actually um, have uh, KIPI, which uh, issues of uh, intellectual property. That is one core measure of in, uh, knowledge economy. The other one is the growth of our startups, which also with the Kenya uh, Development Corporation can actually address those two, those two important issues, intellectual property and the risking uh, investment in uh, our startups. So we think that plays a key role. So we want to grow this, but we will also work closely with the other uh, programs under uh, the Ministry of Industry and Trade and under other ministries. Mm -hmm. Uh, what I see is, uh, uh, before I conclude this uh, engagement, uh, tell us this, uh, how do you plan to make Kenya uh, an exciting, a desirable, an attractive business and investment destination? First of all, we are looking at the issue of uh, the business and environment, the policies. You heard the president last week announce very major policy shift uh, that uh, for purposes of uh, you know ensuring that we treat businesses right. The issue of tax refunds, the issue of uh, a policy shift from uh, uh, zero rating to tax exemptions, so that we can be able to stop uh, uh, this uh, backlog in terms of uh, tax refunds. The issue of uh, removing the restriction on. Uh, uh, ownership for ICT companies, the issue of data mobility for for for, for ICT uh, within Kenya and across across the region. So on the policy level, we are doing a lot. Uh, but second thing for me is on the practice uh, away from the policy, ensuring that we treat every investor as a customer and changing the mindset so that it is not the investor who needs Kenya. It is Kenya who needs the investor. So that mindset change is something that I'm trying to propagate across government. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Waziri and Bona Pierce, for joining us here on KBC Channel 1 and of course to enumerate some of uh, the measures that we are putting in place to ensure that uh, we drive the agenda of Kenya forward. Asante Sana. Well, we continue our interactions here at uh, the Connected Summit 2023. I was just talking to the Minister, or Cabinet Secretary, in charge of the Ministry of International Trade and Investment, Moses Kuria here, and of course the peers in charge of ICT and uh, the digital economy, helping us understand the nexus between in, in, in ICT and trade. Well, my name is O'Brien Kimani. Back to you, Ben Troy, in Broadcasting House. We continue to engage further. Thank you, thank you, Brian Kimani, live from Diani. There, an interesting and candid conversation with the Ministry of Tr with the minister with the current CS of the Ministry of Trade and Investment, that is Moses Kuria, and also the PS of ICT. There, how the government intervention in terms of how things are in the digital space. 